Now we shall learn how to write your own custom extension methods. We have used dot where we have used dot order by so many of them we have used single, single or default. Now it is time to write our own custom extension methods so that they can act on a collection and it returns a collection acted upon by our own custom extension method. Consider this. Supposing we have a collection called ls and we write and we want to get a list of current year's blogs then we should be able to write ls dot current year blogs and this should return a collection of current year's blogs so that a complex code can be written inside this extension method and it can be easily called on ls So if you have a long processing and you want to reuse that at a number of points in your project then you have no other way except to create your own extension method. In programming you do not repeat code. Whenever you find that a code is now to be repeated it's best to put it in is it inside a function or if a group of functions is to be repeated it is best to best to put that into a class and similarly if you find that a lot many extension methods need to be repeated then it is best to create your own custom extension method how to let us first of all have a look at the signature. A custom extension method is going to return a collection. So what will be the return type? We can safely write that the return type will be i enumerable. The type of the collection that is to be ultimately returned followed by the name of your I'll, I'll write it a bit smaller font i enumerable followed by the name I write current blogs then it's it has to act on a collection so the C sharp syntax is to write the this keyword space i enumerable and we can write this is one this space i enumerable t call call is the identifier for the collection on which it is acting this is a special sort of a syntax and it returns ultimately another i enumerable of t. We can write some processing code and then return a collection of i enumerable of t. This method must be static and put inside a static class and it must be public also. This must be inside a static class and must be a public static method that returns i enumerable t 
and takes an argument this